My name is Ronald. I'm here in Iceland, and I'm a native Icelander. And what we're looking at, we're looking at a glacier tongue called Solheimajökull, a part of Mirdalsjökull. This is the neighbor of Eyjafjallajökull, the one you can't pronounce. All right, the one who erupted in 2010, which is responsible for all the flight problems in Northern Europe. So what we're experiencing is the melting of this very glacier, this glacier tongue, I should say, because we're down here in the valley. This is not up in the mountains, it's down under the mountains. And it's been um, receding for, for years now. And I remember it being just about here in the middle of this lake, just a few years ago. And even further back, uh, this glacier tongue was actually covering most of this valley we see here on, on my right now. So, so this glacier um, is um, creating this lake, a lagoon, a great lagoon, which is just um, melting water from the glacier. The reason why it's so dirty is because of this volcanic, well, let's not call it ash, but it's sand from, from, from volcanoes. Now, sand from volcanoes, when the, the neighbor of Eyjafjallajökull was erupting 2010. Uh, this, what we see here, the white part of the glacier, the, the glacier was white. It uh, was actually black, it was totally black. And it was black for a couple of years until it was washed away or, or snowed upon again with fresh snow. And this sand, I would like to call it from Eyjafjallajökull, you can see some of it here, as well as some older sand from other eruptions and this is all um, typical for glaciers and it's trapped between so that we have an ice you have this sand layer on the top because of this thrown up of the sand from the volcanoes and then new snow and ice on the top of it so it's kind of trapped in between now when it melts all this sand comes forth so um, so what we're experiencing here this could be older sand what we're looking at right here and the difference between sand and volcanic ash is this is not molten. It's created in the hypertherm down in the earth where, um, where we have heat and water and, uh, and enough pressure to actually create this kind of a sand. And with the water explosion, which is a, um, really the power of a volcanic explosion, is water being created to expanding to, to uh, steam and with all this explosion there's a lot of water in it a lot of water vapor but also with a lot of sand that kind of rains down again around you so I, um, I challenge you to take a sample of this sand and to see that is may, may have some crystallized structure in it and even um, reaction to magnets okay have fun in Iceland look me up